ghost riding stunt goes horribly wrong in Carlsbad, Europe is on a terror alert, and the Padres come up short in San Francisco. Hello, I'm Brittany Ford with this news brief. A North County woman is in serious condition tonight after attempting a dangerous ghost riding stunt with her husband in Carlsbad. 31-year-old Melanie Tillman suffered head injuries after falling from the roof of a moving car with no driver. Tillman's husband had gotten out of the couple's rented car while it was in gear to record the risky maneuver, as depicted in YouTube videos. Both Tillmans are in custody at the county jail. If you're headed overseas, a travel advisory is in full effect for Americans visiting Europe. U.S. and European officials say they've detected a number of credible threats from al-Qaeda linked to groups targeting European capitals, but they do not consider the attacks imminent. The California governor's race is getting personal now that Meg Whitman admits she employed an illegal immigrant housekeeper for nine years. Whitman is accusing her opponent, Jerry Brown, of orchestrating a smear campaign against her, while Brown is calling on Whitman to take responsibility for her mistakes rather than blaming others. The Padres season is over after a 3-0 loss to the San Francisco Giants. The Pods fell one game short of reaching the playoffs, but the team exceeded all expectations, winning 90 games for the fourth time in franchise history. Looking to our weather for tonight, a cold front from the north will bring cloudy skies and drizzle to the west of the mountains tonight and tomorrow, with overnight temperatures looking to be in the mid-50s and high 65s for tomorrow. Looking at our news at 10 tonight, a new report says that millions of state welfare dollars are being spent outside of California. We'll take you live to La Jolla, where residents are working to get rid of their community's unsightly cigarette butts. And Charger Safety, Stephen Gregory, is suspended after testing positive for performance-enhancing drugs. These stories and more tonight at 10.